YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. I'm Jody Joe. That's Saddle Ward. E man. What's poppin'? We talking about Ezra Miller. He likened himself to Jesus Christ and Satan the devil himself. This man must <laughs> must be what stopped. The fuck? <laughs> Let's get it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Ezra Miller is in some shit again. But not like the last time. This is a new time. And not the last time before that. Or before that or before that. Or before that. This one is really fresh. It's actually happened in the last couple of days. Messiah delusions inside of the Flash's dark spiral. Ezra Miller did not. Ezra Miller did not, to put it mildly, invoke their right to remain silent. This past March, the actor was arrested at a tiki bar called Margarita Village in Hilo, Hawaii, after shouting profanity, spitting in a patron's face, and grabbing a microphone from a woman singing karaoke to Shallow from A Star Is Born. You guys remember that. Let's go ahead and fast track a little bit. Outside, once outside, Miller sweaty, sweaty and disheaped. Disheveled. What does it say? Disheveled in black Disheveled suit jacket. in black suit, jacket, burgundy pants, and red tie. Barks at the cops to state their full names and badge numbers. You guys remember that? That's what's your badge number? Oh, he assaulted me. He touched me. He grabbed my penis. Lying on the cops, basically. Let's go ahead and fast forward some more. We're talking about Flash. Ezra Miller, who's the star of the Flash, a two hundred plus million dollar tentpole movie. That arrest was one turn down a spiral, so confusing and troubling that even old friends have difficulty parsing the chaos. What's clear is that Miller had been endangering not just their career, you see how they put their career, but also their safety and allegedly that of others in increasingly plain sight for the last two years. Since 2020, the actor has been accused of crimes and abuses spamming 6,000 miles in two oceans, throwing a chair that hit a woman in the forehead, threatening a couple in their bedroom and stealing their wallet and passport in Hawaii on top of the incident in Margarita Village choking two strangers in Iceland and breaking into a neighbor's home in Vermont to steal alcohol, which resulted in a felony charge. In June, two protection orders issued against Miller. The first was filed in court in North Dakota by Chase Iron Eyes, a Native American businessman, and his businessman? Oh, my God. Okay. And his wife, Sarah Jumping Eagle, on behalf of their 18-year-old Dakota Iron Eyes. Okay. Who goes by Gibson. They accuse Miller of grooming, brainwashing, and emotionally abusing the teenager and non by indigenous activist Miller met when Iron Eyes was just 12. The tribal court put a temporary order in place, but ultimately dismissed the request for a permanent one. And the parents say that they withdraw the request, their request for custody. They withdrew their request for custody, believing the odds were stacked against them. The second order was requested by a mother in Massachusetts, claiming that Miller's interest in her own non-binary 12-year-old male made her and the child uncomfortable in incidents between February and June of this year. The actor has denied those. Oh! Look at that, says right there. Hello, how are you? Look at him. He got a sword. Which sword is that, Jody? Uh, uh, oh, my God. What's up with them boots, my G? You been stepping in cement? What's up with them stockings, bro? Oh, oh, my God. Stock. Okay. We understand the Vermont police dispatched people to the house because it was a kid claiming custody and all that and shit. But Warner Brothers has not comment on the more key superhero and declined to speak to, uh, for the story. But a source close to the situation says that the studio and the actor's agency, CAA, suggested Miller will work with someone in crisis PR. On August 15th, Miller finally admitted that they were in the midst of an intense crisis and said in a statement, quote, I now understand that I'm suffering complex mental health issues and have begun ongoing treatment. I want to apologize to everyone that I have alarmed and upset with my past behavior. I am committed to doing it and, uh, to doing the necessary work to get back to a healthy, safe and productive stage in my life. A source with knowledge of the situation tells Vanity Fair that their work currently consists of undergoing therapy. I hope that Ezra finds the light that they shine so brightly because the kid I met was a remarkably magical person. Over the last six weeks, Vanity Fair has spoken to more than a dozen people who crossed paths with Miller in the recent years, some of whom work closely or live with the actor on the 95-acre weed farm in Vermont. Most sources describe Miller's spiral as a 
conflagrate conflagration of the mental health issues the actor has acknowledged along with drugs guns and outlandish claims that has raged for more than two years they say that the actor verbally and emotionally abused those around him and referred to themselves alternatively as jesus and the devil fuck three people say that miller was also Rap, also wrap the superhero they play into their grandiose speechifying. The actor says one source was claiming that the Flash is the one who brings the multiverse together just like Jesus. <laughs> All this has been a disturbing trajectory for Miller. Those critical breakthrough came at his critical breakthrough came through at 19 with their deeply movie performance in the 2011 school massacre drama we need to talk about kevin and the and the you know all the other jd stuff you know what i'm saying here he is in the superhero form that's the guy you'll probably see him like this one more time and that's gonna be it for him he's had a lot of interviews and warner brothers allegedly sat down sat him down and told him to get his shit together and he put a statement out that we read earlier but uh, after Vanity Fair talked to a lot of people close to his life and situation, him liking himself to Jesus and the devil, man, that just sounds like a little bit more crazy, bro. Shout out to Vanity Fair for that bro. article, man. Yeah. What you, bro, what, what you think bro, about that? What you think about that, Bro, this Looney e? Tune already said about You think he crazy or he just, like, misunderstood? Nah, this Looney Tune needs to go, bro. And you sure, bro? Maybe he's just so... He's just on a, He's operating on a higher level than the rest of us humans. This Looney Tune needs to go, bro. And it, it's bad that the... Who is the new uh, 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 Wonder Discovery? The, the person who, who's taking over. David Zaslav. He needs to get rid of him. This is bad for business. This is bad for the company. He's talking about. You think they Flash should get rid of him? Jesus Christ. You think they should get rid of, uh, of, of the Flash? What about the Flashpoint movie, though? I, I, I feel like you don't have to get that movie rid has to of come the out. movie. You could change the character. I've always, I've always pushed that. I'm always pushing. They need to change the person. They, can, they don't. They, it's easy to change. Ezra Miller to another bear, uh, to, to a, uh, Ezra Miller to another person that played Barry at Allen. the end of the it's movie maybe at the end but not during uh, the movie. I mean you can you can doing you can it do throughout some, the movie some, some is, is not possible. You can do some reshoots. You can do some reshoots. Nah, job, not, no they can't. They would have reshoots. to scrap it. It's all new movie movie if you do that many reshoots they to get rid of them. They would have to scrap it. Yes. Here's the thing, and and they can't get those other actors back. It's in the movie might have cost a certain amount of money, but it's invaluable. So now I'm gonna call you back. And pay you again. I have to. If, if you the actor that did the scene with Ezra, I have to call you back and pay you again exactly what I paid you for the first. Why movie. do you say it's invaluable? The Flashpoint movie. What do you mean? Uh, to the to the because like they can't handle the look. They with all the cuts that Zaslav is making, I don't think they can afford to scrap this movie. If they they would have they threw Batgirl in the trash. Right that was ninety million oh, down the toilet. It was ninety. was ninety million. But let's keep it about. It was ninety million dollars that saved them over a hundred million. So it really wasn't them losing money. They gained money. But off at of doing this that. point, with what they have, you know, they're trying to ride it out. Because I'm sure, I'm sure they wish he would go away. I'm sure they wish somehow. If they could lock him up without it being public or silence him for at least eight months, I'm sure that they've already looked off the record on what they could do to get rid of this guy. And even with all the craziness and chaos that surrounds him, we still did not hear in that article about him assaulting that woman, which was the not, beginning. Not. Which was the first. They scene. talked about the choke. They did. They, they went over the choke about the choke, run it, the run it. choking it, choking a woman in Iceland. It. That was the Iceland oh, that situation. Was Iceland. Okay. Yes. Because I, I, you know, mental health is real, and I agree. There, and he could have a mental health problem. I get it, but we can't also blame um, drugs. Oh, it's definitely drugs. We can't blame. You know, we can't blame drugs on mental health. What about mental health? And he's already, what about mental health though? He was. Uh, it, it's weird to me how he if was. If you do mind-altering drugs and your mind gets altered permanently, mm. I am not. That's drug. That's drug abuse. Not I mental am health not, issues. I'm not. Say that again. I'm not Go ahead, so for the audience can hear that. It's what you man got. I'm not lumping what? you in with the ADD. <laughs> you know the the Ridland crowd. I'm not lumping you in with them. If you started off on point. And decided to experiment. They call it experimenting with drugs because you don't know what you're getting half the time, and you don't know what you're doing. So I don't know if he's on drugs, but it sure seems like he's on drugs. And I saw him. I was appalled when he was acting out on the red carpet in the beginning. 
before in the Justice League's movie. I already, I never liked him as a Flash. Most of us never liked him, and I don't know who he's got on his team, but they, I know they wish they had listened to the fans and, and replaced him with someone else because there's a, lo a lot of beautiful actors, responsible actors, because he's irresponsible, whether he's got a mental problem or not. He's stopping actors, though. He's stopping, first of all, fans want to see Michael Keaton back on the big screen as Batman. He's stopping Michael Keaton from being Batman for his bullshit. I can't confirm He's stopping that. Ben, everybody's talking about Ben like Affleck. Him. Ben Affleck's coming back. Ben Affleck is in this movie. He's stopping Ben Affleck in this movie. Even though these actors may got paid, but, they, but, but fans can't see these scenes. Fans can't see this movie because of him. They pushing it back because of him. He needs to go. I've, I'm the only one that pushed this issue. Everybody else in the past, from what I call what he told me, that had, had, had that, I, I also agree with E back then, that Ezra Miller needs to go. He is not, he was never, never, never uh, a, a person, uh, should have never been a person of interest to be the Flash. Everything that's happening right now is fucking Zack Snyder's fault. He allowed that shit. He saw, he probably saw this weird shit and like, oh, I think he's cool. He's gonna be cool with it. Yeah, this is super cool. He fucked this shit up. And, and this, Ezra Miller is, is a, a huge, a, a huge, uh, a bad way, a way, a bad situation with DC. He is ruining it. What's, what DC stands for, he's ruining what, what's, what needs to go on. You know, it's another freaking gay fisher and all the rest of them, man. A lot, that's why you can kind of see you guys right now that true DC fans or Warner Brother fan, like Warner Brother fans is that they're cleaning house because of shit like this. They're ruining what, what DC stands for. He's ruining it. This guy has mental, it's not just mental, this is drug abuse. I don't think it's just mental abuse. I think it's fully drug abuse. This guy has he been definitely on substance drugs, like crazy, oh, like crazy. The definitely. devil, the, the, the this Christ flashes Jesus Christ. Look, look, this Peep dude Game. is nuts. Peep Game in an article right here. So while in Iceland, Miller was accompanied by Jasper Bear, a 55-year-old North Dakota medicine man. The actor has hired as a spiritual advisor. Young Bear seems to have stoked Miller's outside vision of himself. Jasper was telling Ezra that he wasn't a part of the movement. He was the movement. That he was the next Messiah. And that the Freemasons were sending demons out to kill him. Says a source who, like others who have been close to Miller, sometimes misgenders the actor who is said not to insist on they, them pronouns in private. In an interview with British GQ published the same month as Iceland Chokings, Miller seems to suggest a higher purpose, telling that the writer, quote, my prerogative is service. I'm here to do what I can for everybody I can do it for. I'm not sure exactly what everything means, but it sounds cool, so I nod my head along. We got there. There was a big bow and arrow cocked on the table facing the door. Ezra was laying face down on the floor. Fuck. Man, this dude's going through it, bro. One thing is for sure, he's going through it. We could say Ezra's batshit right now. Batshit crazy. He's an entitled brat, whiny. <laughs> the sad truth of it, and I got to keep it a buck, black kids don't have this, can't afford to do this type of stuff. Say it again. Go ahead. Say black it again kids, about it. Black kids can't afford to go through all of these ups and downs and all these chances and excuses. These are some of the things that are allowed to the privileged of, of people. The white folk. The Europeans. You can't be black and do this shit that Ezra did. Hell no. Because if Ezra happened to be, well, we saw what happened to Ye Fisher. Ye Fisher deserves it because he's a lying piece of shit. But you saw what happened to him. He's under the jail. He's out of here. Mm -hmm. Had this happened to an, let me say, uh, what's my man named Finn from Star Wars? Uh, John, John, Bo John, John Boyega. Boyega. Yeah. Had John Boyega said some shit like that, you're out of here. Let alone somebody famous. His career Let's talk about a, 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 a black kid who's just dealing with the law and drug abuse and shit. Yeah. You don't get these. He would have been in a jail cell. Because they would have misidentified everything that Ezra's going through. Oh, it's stress. It's mental health. He needs help. Identity crisis. But if it's a black kid doing it, who doesn't happen to be famous? Criminal. Drug user. Bad actor. Bad person. Throw him in jail. 
These are the type of things that we're talking about. All of these goddamn chances that this motherfucker is getting because he has two thick layers of protection. Two thick layers of protection that has been protecting him from the jump Forever. and still is protecting him to this day. Facts. He's got that white skin and he's part of the LGBTQ community, bro. And one thing that you can't do is cancel somebody who's in the LGBTQ community because they're the ones that do the canceling. They run Hollywood. They Let's keep it a buck. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you feel me? I feel like this man, and I already said, just especially by this even more, he needs to be in some type of uh, psychiatric hospital. Definitely. Uh, he, Jail. He, I, 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 yeah, hell when, you, yeah. when you throw a chair at a bar and you hit a white woman with it in the head and she needs to get stitches, if you were black, you go to jail. Breaking and entering. Jail. You break in someone's house, steal their liquor, hold them hostage. Jail. You choked him out. That's assault. You choke a white girl out to the floor as a black man. Jail. <laughs> but when you're Ezra Miller and gay. You're safe. He's just misidentified. We're going to get him some help. You got me effed up with this shit. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for that real content. I'm Jody Joe. That's E-Man. We out. Deuces. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys thumb that video. Free 99 all day. Don't forget to share and show love to the JC family. Let us know what you think about it. You like it, you don't like it. Let us know what you think. And keep it a buck. You know this shit is this bullshit. Do it now.